Welcome back to my channel. It's Whit here again with another video. So today I'm going to be doing a video showcasing different black owned beauty brands or makeup brands, bomb. And I first saw Jackie Ina do this video years ago and here I am today doing it. I want to just show love to brands that, you know, care to <laughs> include me in their lineup. Who cares to include me on launch day, you know, just want to show love to them and bring awareness to these brands because a lot of these brands tend to be underrated or you know they don't, they're not really spoken of or you don't really know that is black owned and with the whole black lives um, movement going on it's definitely important to you know just show love to the black race you know what i'm saying now before we get started i want to shout out three of my personal close friends they each have businesses and they are black owned and i just wanted to kind of show love to them you know i want you guys to go show love to them support their brand so the first brand is by my friend quincy and she sells various hookahs like everything that you could possibly need for hookah or the actual hookah all that stuff she sells it i personally don't smoke hookah whatever um so i don't know all the terminology but she has some really cool styles and you should definitely check out her page and if you do end up getting anything just you know let her know that i sent you her way <laughs> okay second i have a friend named Pierre, and she sells bundles and wig she actually makes wigs now and she sells them and if you guys um remember my other unit the blonde one she actually bleached that or she colored that entire unit for me thank you so much because <laughs> it definitely would have came out looking like that so yeah she sells hair and she also makes wigs <laughs> And then also she has another business, she sells cookies. And I know that sounds crazy, like what cookies? Yes, cookies, okay? And let me just say, they are perfect, okay? They are, mm, like, beautiful. Like, she has a lot of different flavors, um, and you can get a dozen of co her cookies for just eight zonas, you know what I'm saying? Because of her tiff tree too. And my personal favorite flavor is a chocolate chip pecan. I love that flavor by her, it tastes amazing i just need to place another order <laughs> i really do so yes and she does ship nationwide so if you have to um by the by the way all my friends they live here in houston i'm from houston i live in houston um they she ships nationwide so if you are in any other state in the u.s <laughs> She got you, boo. She got you, okay? And then lastly, my friend Kia, she started her very own accessories line. So she sells purses, sunglasses, shoes, and I actually have a couple things to show you guys. So here's the first bag. <laughs> and I know you guys love accessories because those are always, those videos on my channel always do well. So she has this one and she does have them in different colors. I don't think this color is in stock anymore. I think she, I don't know if she's waiting to get more, but she does have this in other colors. So yeah, it's this blue one. And then my personal favorite, look at this bag. Look at this bag! This is so cute and it does come in different colors, but I wanted just a clear one. Oh my gosh, imagine like a cute, oof, oof that's so cute. And then um, I do have some sunglasses from her and I'm just gonna go ahead and cue the slow-mos and then we'll be back. So yeah, you guys, go ahead and show them some love. Shop the brands if you're interested. They have some really amazing stuff and I love the fact that yet again, it is black owned. And yeah, lastly, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram if you're not yet following me. Like the video, leave a comment down below. Actually, leave a comment down below letting me know your favorite. No, 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 it's too hard to pick. I don't think you could pick this one. Let me know what your favorite um, brands are. So it doesn't have to just be one. 
it could be like two, three, four, five, six, seven, you know, if it's all of them, then it's all of them, <laughs> period. And yeah, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed, turn on the bell notification, that way when I upload, you're notified because you know what, YouTube's not gonna do it for you. <laughs> they say you gotta help yourself. So you know what, help yourself and turn the bell notification on. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so as you guys can see, I am starting off today with a blank face. Normally I do have my brows filled in and I would have my eyes already primed, but I wanted to showcase some different products that I was able to find. So as you guys know, I love the ABH pomade and I only like using pomade on my brows. And that's where the struggle came in was finding a black owned brand that sold pomade. And after some research and I finally did, it is by the Crayon Case. This is their pomade. And the crayon case was actually founded by Supercent in 2017. Um, she took a leap of faith and created her own makeup brand. And her line is so cute because it's so like school supply-ish. And I've only tried out her Book of Crayons eyeshadow palette. So I was glad to like finally pick up some more stuff from her line. So I'm gonna be using this to fill in my brows. Um, this is their pomade. Ironically, it's called Ebony, just like the color I use from ABH. They do have six shades, it is the darkest. All right, so this is how I do my eyebrow. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one off camera. I've actually never done my brows on camera. And I use their foundation stick in the shade Guinea to go ahead and carve out my brows. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one off camera and I'll be back to um, continue on with the video. All right, so I have my brows filled in and I actually really do like their formula. It is pretty creamy without being too creamy, if that makes sense. So it gives you um, leeway to like, kind of fill in without it getting all over the place. Now for primer, I do have two here. I got the crayon case, their washable eye glue stick, and then I also have the Sasha Cosmetics, their eye primer. Now this is gonna be a primer that dries clear. Now I haven't tried this on myself, but I do wanna try this. But for today, I'm gonna be using this primer. It's in the shade Matte Cameo. Um, you guys know if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, I like that white, beige type of base. You guys, I got my hands on it. This is the Colored Rain, the Safari Rain palette. And this brand was created by Lorraine Dowdy in 2013. And her whole um, purpose of creating this brand was she wanted something that could be self, um, where you can express yourself and it encouraged diversity. So this is a limited edition palette and unfortunately it's no longer being sold. Um, they did their final restock on Juneteenth but not to worry, I did look on their website today and the single shades are still being sold and they're also available. So if you really, really want this palette but you weren't able to get your hands on it, you can get the individual shades um, separately and just kind of put them into a Z palette. I'm gonna do a pretty soft look today. So I'm gonna go into the shade called Clay, the shade. Now Colored Rain has, in my opinion, some of the best eyeshadows on the market and I stand by that. And I feel like they're a brand that needs more recognition. Like they got recognition, but they need more. Like they need absolutely more. Like their formula is amazing. And one thing that I've noticed about Lorraine, the um, owner of Colored Rain, and I feel like a lot of brands have kind of lost sight of this, is she is not quick to put out um, product. Like it takes her a while to like release stuff. That's what I've noticed with Colored Rain. And as fun as it is to buy new makeup, I'd rather buy good quality makeup than poorly half-assed makeup. And it shows, you can see the brands that are just kind of like, you know, wanting to keep up or just wanting to constantly put out stuff that just want the money. It shows in the quality of their products. And she takes her time and she gives you, she gives you quality and I love her stuff. Like, I can honestly say that I don't think there's a coloring product that I have tried that I have not liked. All right, next I'm gonna jump into this shade called Matriarch. All right, so this is a Z palette that I have from Colored Rain, and I'm gonna go into, oof, I'm gonna go into this shade right here called Chocolate. Um, Matriarch is, it's a lot cooler than I expected it to be. I just wanna put this a, over it a little bit just to warm it up a little bit, and then I'm just gonna pop on a lit shade and like call it a day, cause I didn't really wanna do too much to my eyes. I really kinda want a, like a, a softer look, I don't wanna cut the crease or anything. And then for my lid shade, I'm gonna take the shade called Lioness. Yeah, I'm gonna take that color and just put this all over my lid. Oh, 
a part of me really wants to add black, but, but I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and hold off. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and do our wing liner. All right, so for eyeliner today, I'm going to be using the Sasha Cosmetics Their Gel Liner. Yet again, if you guys can't tell, I love gel products. I love brow pomade, I like eyeliner that's gel. Um, I like the texture of it. I feel like it's the easiest for me to work with. Some people might think otherwise, but I have a much easier time doing it than like um, pens and pencils and stuff. So their thing does come with like a thing you can detach, but um, I already have a brush that I like, so I'm just gonna stick with that. For lashes today, I'm gonna to be using the Colored Rain, their Lashes in the Style Bossy, and these are, I believe, 22 millimeters? They ain't 25, but they're 22, and even then, I don't know how I feel about 25 millimeter lashes, to be honest. I like them long, but I don't know if I like them that long. All right, so while my lashes are drying, I'm gonna go ahead and jump on into face. I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty, their Pro Filter Primer, and let's talk about Fenty real quick, because there's no way I can do a black owned beauty brand um, or black owned makeup brand video without including Fenty Beauty. I feel like Fenty Beauty is so revolutionary in this industry because there really is a thing as pre Fenty and post Fenty. Like on September 2017, that was when Fenty launched her line in Sephora stores and .com and on her website. And I remember I went to work that day. I was there on the day it launched and it felt so good, so good to be a black woman in America on that day because we got to partake in launch day. Like we weren't an afterthought. We didn't have to wait three weeks, four weeks, two months for you to come out with the rest of the shades. We got to partake in the launch and it felt good being able to do those color matches on clients. Um, just if you're, if you're new to my channel, um, I work at Sephora if you don't know. And you know, it felt good to be able to like color match clients and also all the darker shades ended up selling out. Hold on, I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty um, mascara as well. All the darker shades, they sold out and it felt good to tell people that the reason why we didn't have their shade was because it was sold out, not because, oh, they're, they're still coming in. So come back in like four weeks and we should have a color for you. Like, no, like I want, I want to be able to, you know, post videos. Like if you do YouTube videos and be able to buy the stuff and post it just on time as everybody else. It, um, I want to go into Sephora the day it launches and try it out. So I love Fancy Beauty. Um, they will always have my support unless they do something crazy, which I don't foresee that, but yeah, they will always have my support. Now for foundation, I'm gonna be using Auntie Pat. We're gonna bougie it up a little bit, okay? I'm gonna be using the Pat McGrath foundation in the shade Deep 29. And then to apply it, I'm also gonna be using Colored Rain's, their um, version of like their beauty sponge. And I got two, I got the green one and I also got the orange one. So this is what it looks like when it's not wet and then when it is wet. So as you guys can see, it's huge. It does have this flatter side and then a huge side to go ahead and like put on your foundation. So I'm gonna be using the green one today because I don't know, it looks so cool. So let me go ahead and put my Pat McGrath foundation on. And this bunch is soft. These lashes are like fire. So for concealer, I'm gonna be using Juvia's Place, their concealer in the shade um, J16, which it's kind of light, actually, it's it's really light. Which, I do like a bright concealer, but I've been liking to put like a concealer that's um, a little bit closer to my skin tone down first. All right, I'm gonna go into the crayon case, their Chalk Dust setting powder. Just pop it open like this. And I got the letter C. All 
All right, so as you guys know, I love using different like finishing powders and whatnot and whatnot, but I don't know of any black owned beauty brands that have like those glow powders like the Laura Mercier does, like the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. And I'm really hoping that Pat McGrath comes out with something similar because she, her brand, I can see her brand doing something like that for sure. Um, but to give myself some color, I'm gonna go into the Fenty Beauty, their bronzer in the shade Mocha Mommy. As you guys can see, I love it. It is like, dang near gone but yeah I'm gonna try and just like use this bronzer and like go like a little bit here to kind of like warm myself back up because I don't have any of like my um finishing powders to use today all right we're gonna jump on into blush I'm gonna be using the Juvia's Place their Sahara and blush volume 2 and this shade this one right here it's called B all right so for highlighter I'm going to be using JD glow cosmetics these are so old-school the packaging their stuff looks nothing like this if you don't know JD glow cosmetics is a black owned brand and it was started by a best friend duo and I have two colors here and the one I'm going to be using today is this one right here it's called Egyptian it's like this really pretty intense gold color and then I purely bought this shade it's like a dual chrome shade I purely bought it because it's called Beyonce but these are just so nostalgic because I remember I was on a rampage when I was buying like this like I was buying everything in my site and I remember seeing this brand I was like oh that's so pretty and like now seeing where they're at like they can't keep stock of nothing. Their stuff sells out all the time. Honestly, I don't even think these are safe to use on my face anymore because they're so old. I think I bought these in like 2015 or 16. I don't know. One of those years, they're super old and they smell like it too, but I'm just gonna keep pushing with it. If I break out after this video, I'm gonna be pissed. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do my bottom like shadow and liner. I'm just gonna take that gel liner that I use on the top and I'm just gonna go ahead and like line my waterline. And now for eyeshadow, I'm gonna go back into the Safari Rain palette and I'm just gonna go into the shade, um, this, that color, Matriarch, that brown. And I'm just gonna smudge this all down here. I am gonna take some black. I'm gonna take the Colored Rain, their single eyeshadow in the shade Black Moon. Where's it at? Yeah, right here, Black Moon. And I'm just gonna smudge just a little bit down here. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of my brows. I'm gonna actually go into the shade Matriarch, that same brown. Cause normally I use um, the Benefit, their, um, their brow powder. I don't like to use gel anymore like in the oh <laughs> we forgot we this this actually has pigmentation it actually has saturation all right and I'm gonna put on some bottom mascara Alrighty, so the next item was a little bit of a challenge to find and it was setting spray. Oh my gosh, finding a brand that was black owned that had a setting spray was challenging. Now I know Fancy has theirs but um I just didn't want that one to be honest. <laughs> I don't really want hydrating setting sprays. And also, um, yeah, I, I, I just didn't want that one. And so I was like, well, I gotta find something. And I stumbled upon Sasha Cosmetics, their Fix It setting spray. It's good for all skin types. And then after I had got this one, I found out that Beauty Bakery had one. But the thing is, I looked on their website. I don't know if I overlooked it, but um, somehow I didn't see it, so. All right, so for lips today, I'm gonna to be using the Colored Rain, their Cherry Blossom Liquid Lipstick. And that is why I purposely did my eyes so much softer because I definitely would have jumped into those greens. But I really wanted to highlight this product in this video for a particular reason. Now, as a woman of color, I feel like one of the things I struggled with for years was finding a red lipstick that actually looked good on me. For the longest, I just thought red lipstick was not meant for deeper skin tones because it always made me look clownish. It always looked muted. It just never looked flattering. It never looked like what it looked like on someone lighter. So I was like, you know what? 
just not for me. Until I came across this 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 lipstick right here. Now, if you are black, like I'm not gassing this. Like I love coloring, but I am not gassing this. Like this is a red lipstick that every black woman needs to have in her collection. Like whenever I wear this, I get so many questions. I've been at work and clients have literally ran me down like, hey girl, what is that on your lips? Like, where'd you get that red lipstick? Like, honestly, I would love, I would love to see Color Rain come to Sephora's because ugh, this color is so bomb. And I did buy me a backup because this color is always selling out. So I got me another one. But yeah, let's go ahead and pop this lip on. And look how white my teeth look. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera, do my hair, um, switch cameras so we can get a wider shot. And I'll be back to close this video on out. All right, guys, so this is the completed look and I'm having to keep my hands here because I have this really bad um, tan line from like my sports bra. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I hope you guys like this video. I hope it was informative and helpful. Let me know down below what your favorite black owned brand is. Um, let me know your favorite products that you like to use. Anything I didn't uh, mention in this video, let me know. I'm open to trying out so many new products. Like these are, these are just, th these are not just things that I bought for this video. And after today, go right back to what I was using. Like I want to incorporate these products into my video here on out. I just want to highlight and show love to companies that um, care care to cater to people who look like me. So thank you to all the brands out there who, you know, are inclusive, who are trying. And yeah, um, until next time, I'll talk to you. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Like the video, drop a comment down below, and follow me on Instagram. And until next time, I'll talk to you videos later. Bye.